we have head coach Shannon Welker and senior Mara Titersoli. Open up the floor for questions. Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Doing good. Uh, what do you have for us? So, Shannon, last week you guys uh, put up your a season best team score. Um, I believe you said that since that meet was in St. Louis, it also counts as like road scores. So just how big was it for you guys to be able to put up such a great team score and have it count as as if it was a road score? Yeah. So, well, and I'll kind of explain this just a little briefly on how they do this. All right. So they take your um, you have to count three, at least um, there's six scores you have to count, three of which have to be road scores. Um, and then you can do the three, any three other, so they could be home or road or whatever. Um, and then you throw out the high and then you average those five, right? So it's six scores, but you're averaging five. So they always throw out that kind of high, that outlier, I think just to, you know, in case there was something, the judges were a little bit, um, generous. Um, and so they, that's how that kind of works. So again, three road. And so the road scores basically can count for any of those scores. You can only count up to three home scores. So that's why those road scores are so valuable, but I think the road scores are also valuable, at least in my mind, because it tells us, Hey, if we're doing well on the road, which we have done, it tells us that we can, that's where most of the time postseason is going to be on the road anyway. So, so that, that, that's helpful there. But to be able to do it um, on on the road, one that score is valuable. But two, also in a on a podium setting and in a really kind of like a postseason format. I told our team, I said that's really what postseason feels like right there. You know, everybody's it's neutral site. There's four teams. You're on podium, and so I think that was really good for us. And so I was I was pleased. I thought we made a step forward, and we did it in a in a very uh, competitive environment. Uh, Mara, so congratulations, first of all, to being the specialist of the week, um, your second of the year. Um, scoring a perfect 10, you have the top three bar scores in Missouri history. Um, what does that mean to you? Um, I think this is really special that um, I was able to come in and just contribute to the team. I think just that just means a lot. And um, it's also just amazing to see like how well we've done at the last meet because I watched the meet back because I don't watch – uh, the people before me, but like looking back at it, you can really see like how well we focus on our details and how our work, hard work was um, paying off right there. So I think that's really amazing. Yeah, I, I would add to Mara. I mean, she's, I think Mara's doing a great job as she probably well knows, but um, but I think, um, you know, I think earlier in the season, and I'll speak for her a little bit, I think she was putting a lot of weight on her shoulders where she didn't need to. I mean, heck, we had three kids go up before her and go nine, nine. So, you know, for, for her, I think getting back to just focusing on process and just staying in the zone and being present, I think has helped her. Yes. So, um, yeah. So, um, and just allowed her to do that, but really cool. You know, I mean, somebody who's you know, to be able to score a 10 in two conferences. And, and and now I think, I feel like she's getting a lot more comfortable with kind of the atmosphere of just SEC competitions and trusting her teammates, you know, not that she didn't before, but, you know, I think sometimes it's easy for somebody who, who's used to performing way up here to feel like they have to do that in order for our team to be successful. And we don't, you know, of course it helps obviously, but that's on any event, quite honestly. So. This is kind of a question for both you guys. Did you feel like last week was a night where you guys put all four events together? Um, almost, <laughs> almost, we're almost there. We're almost there. You know, I think anytime, you know, we're, we're I think uh, having some just, um, you know, we had a couple of, we weren't perfect by any means. We had a couple of mistakes, you know, not only we had a little, little mistake on bars and we had a mistake on beam, you know, and I think, we overcame those, um, which was, which was great. Um, but I also think that if we can get rid of those little breaks in the the build that helps too. Right. So, you know, I think that there's a, there's a kind of a scoring build to it. Right. And we want to get rid of those little things. Um, and I think that'll help, but I do think it was the closest we've had to a complete meet, um, you know, on there. I definitely think we're moving in a good direction. Again, we came out of the gate strong. We knew we'd have a little bit of a dip at some point. And now I feel like we're moving back in the trajectory that we want to be moving in. So what do you think, Mara? Um, I agree. I think we've been working really hard the past week about, um, trying to set our minds to like having that complete meet. So I think we may like a right step, a step in the right direction for sure.
it's just like I'm excited to see whatever happens next. Yeah, we got more in the tank. We got more in the tank for sure. Mara, I apologize. I jumped on a little late. I apologize if you already answered this or something like it. But in your experience, what goes into a 10? And is that something you can try to do? Or is that something that just happens with the training and the execution? I would say it happens more with the training. Um, like scoring is, in a way, out of your control. Um, so I feel like putting in the work in training and compete, like, training those routines that you want to compete really contributes to like being successful eventually and getting that 10, but eventually like it, the scoring is out of your control anyways. Like I just got to do my best and we all got to do our best to like be detail oriented and just do our job. And then whatever happens next is on like up to the judges. Yeah. I think one of the hardest things for a athletes that have that ability that are competing at great is, you know, those, these seasons are long, but the, I find the people that can go in every day and continue to treat that practice like a competition, like they want, those are the people that are typically the most successful there. Cause, cause the, the competition, honestly, that's the easy part. The, the, the preparation, that daily grind, that is the hard part. And to be able to do it at the level um, day in and day out, that really, that's, that's where the 10 comes from. The 10 didn't just happen on that Friday night. It happened on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all that stuff leading up to it. So. And does that make it, I guess, maybe easier to, to keep trying to progress? I mean, this doesn't happen in most sports. There's no such thing as a 10.1, <laughs> you know, it, does, does that kind of constant drive, is that what brings you back in the gym even after achieving something to that level? That's what you, um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's fun that it happened once, but I want to keep contributing to like the whole bar lineup. And I think it's just really important to keep that going um, because we've made a lot of progress and I don't think we've reached our ceiling yet. So. so Shannon, what are some improvements that you're looking towards making for the meet on Friday? I end up having to watch it on TV later. Oh, so. yeah. Sorry. I, I read your blog and I'm like, oh, you poor lady. You got stuck. <laughs> Nate and I tried to get there. <laughs> we actually stayed Friday night with our team. We just said, we're not doing this. So we stayed an extra night in St. Louis instead of putting everybody on a bus and driving service roads back. So um, on there, yeah, I think we did well. You know, look, we had it, we we did a good job with landings. I think we stuck eight out of 18. So that was solid. Now we're getting back to where I feel like closer to where we need to be um to be the most successful. So I think that was good. Um, um you know, man, so many good things. I really thought we looked uh, pretty good over there. You know, I think just a little more, uh, you know, consistency from, from front of the lineup to the back of the lineup, you know, whatever event that is, I think we can get rid of a little bit of that, but you know, we really did what uh, bars was great. Not, I mean, Mara did great, but there was a lot of great routines in front of her, right? There was a lot of people that did a lot of great routines. Kira Burns set a personal record as well to lead us off on that event. So, you know, uh, everybody's got to do their job right there. But um, so a lot of good stuff. Floor was good again, um, you know, and beam was definitely better. I still think we can be better on beam. Like, I think, you know, we, we still, we, we definitely made a step in the right direction, um, but we can be better there. Um, and we can do a little better job with maybe some vault landings, but really at this point, I think just keeping confidence high and keeping people healthy, really, that's, that's what we need. You know, we could almost, we could practice very little at this point, no, not that we're going to, but, um, and show up for meets and do well, if we're feeling good, we've put in a lot of the work so you know i think just confidence and healthy and you know and and um just you know continuing to be excited to make improvements and show up but uh on there but otherwise we're doing great i think we're in a good spot um uh you know i think we just need to continue to build you know we got four meets left i think regular season and then we're into the postseason so yeah so i'm um, building off the bars you had the highest program uh highest bar scoring program history and had five nine nines how can you keep that up for this meet well, now I got to buy a free massage certificate for our assistant coach because that's what I do. Whenever they break a record, I get them a free massage. So they, so I got to buck up for that. So, um, but uh, um, yeah, I'm sorry. What was the question again, Grayson? Tell me. It was just like, how can you keep that consistency? Got it. Um, you know, I think you just come in and, you know, look, we all loved how how that fell last Friday night. Well, we want to do it again. Well, we know what the cost is, right? We got to come in and work hard. So, 
you know, I, I don't find this to be a group that is going to get complacent. I think it's a, you know, um, I think it's a group that knows that we've got um, some gas in the tank and, and we're not quite there yet. So I think knowing that really helps drive us, right? I feel like, you know, there's, we don't want to be peaking too early. And, um, you know, I think, I think they know that, but I think they know now is the time. This is the time that we, we're not only mentally prepared, but we're physically prepared and we've had enough competition that we can, you know, go out and, and, you know, and kick some butt. So. Mara, I'm wondering if you can kind of describe what the difference was being on bars on a podium as opposed to just like regularly how you guys are performing. Um, I mean, the, the tension of the bar is always a little different. So just getting used to that. But on the other hand, bars are different everywhere. So, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, it just feels like a little more lonely up there because there's a little more separation between you and the team. But um, yeah, other than that, there's not that. It's just the same thing, same routines that we've been doing. So, Shannon, this is off the subject of the immediate team, but you know, obviously, everyone's reacting to uh, Desiree leaving. What was kind of your reaction to that? And you know, a second question off of that is, you know, what's important to you in in your position specifically in the next AD? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I told their team, I'm like, listen, unless she's in one of our lineups, it really doesn't change what we're doing. So, you know, so, and I think she's out of eligibility. So, um, you know, look, we, we, again, uh, like I, I think I had said it, we, uh, we're appreciative. I mean, she did a great job for university and we're excited. Um, you know, I think we just want somebody that's going to come in, you know, the cool thing about Desiree, I felt like when she came in, she really made it a point to resource all teams at the level that they, that they need, they were, they needed to move forward. Right. And I think she really understood that and, and her expectations for those teams matched with the resources too. She knew like, Hey, look, here's where you can be and, and, um, on there. And so, um, so that was really uh, fantastic. And I, um, so, and I've even texted with her a little bit in the last day or so and wished her well and, um, you know, and, and on those things and she did the same. So, um, in the next AD, you know, I think we just want somebody that is, can connect well with our, with our coaches and student athletes and, and understands, you know, for us just understanding gymnastics, cause there's not, not everybody has that background as an athletic director in there. And I, I think we just want to make sure that they understand that and um, can help us achieve our goals and understand what we've built and the, the momentum we have here, not only as Mizzou athletics, but especially in our gymnastics program, right? We're the, listen, we've got the second most attended events, like per event, we are number three, right? On there, right? It's football, bat, men's basketball, and this gymnastics, right? Like, you know, we're averaging over 5,000 people per event right now, which is awesome, right? So, so I think we want them just to grasp that momentum that we have and the ability for us to, you know, potentially, uh, we're looking to compete in the future for an SEC title and night session and NCAA championships, right? And we want them, we want to make sure we partner with them on that journey. Got time for about one more question. Cool. Hey, you know, Mara's mom came from the Netherlands. She came all the way from the Netherlands and she was there on Friday night and got to see her attend, right? Yep. Yeah, so super cool. <laughs> yeah, so Mara, kind of going off that, you know, you were born in the Netherlands and as Shannon said, your mom came. What did that mean for you, for your mom to be there? Um, It was really special. It was also a birthday. So it was my present to her. Um, Yeah, it was just like really nice for her to, see the difference too in conference and like this team and um just being able to show up my best and like get that 10 when she was there it was just yeah I mean it's nothing like it so cool well thanks guys appreciate you and uh we'll see you next week all right